good afternoon as uh, you have discussed earlier you discussed about uh, the types of force system basically there are many types of force system uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, the uh, finding the resultant of coplanar concurrent force system so coplanar concurrent force system is the forces basically force system is uh, when more than one forces are acting simultaneously on a particle then it is said to be a force system and uh, of which one of the type is coplanar concurrent force system coplanar concurrent force system means the forces are in the same plane as well as either they are meeting at a common point or they are emerging from a common point so we are more interested in finding the resultant of this force system now before going for the analytical methods to find the uh, resultant we must know that what do we understand by resultant so resultant is basically it is a single force capable of producing the same effect as that of the force system now there are various methods of finding uh, the resultant of the force system of which uh, we are having law of parallelogram of force system law of triangle of force system method of resolution and graphical method of which we will be starting with law of parallelogram of force system the statement of law of parallelogram of force system is if two forces are acting simultaneously on a particle and if they are represented as two adjacent sides of the parallelogram in terms of magnitude and direction then the diagonal passing through the particle gives resultant in terms of magnitude and direction we can see here that there are two forces p and q and if these two forces are represented as two adjacent sides of the parallelogram then and a parallelogram is constructed then the diagonal passing through the particle gives resultant now we will be analytically derive derivation of uh, law of uh, analytical formula for law of parallelogram of forces now let us consider two coplanar concurrent forces let us say the first force is p and the other force is q and they are separated by and uh, the angle between these two forces is theta now as per law of parallelogram of forces if these two forces are taken as two adjacent sides of the parallelogram and a parallelogram is constructed let us say the parallelogram constructed is o a b c then the diagonal passing through this point will give resultant so looking to the parallelogram we can define that oa is represented by p force oc is represented by q force and this ob diagonal represents resultant r now if we draw a perpendicular from b which meets this line oa at point d and if we take this triangle triangle obd then it would be a right angle triangle of which the side ob will be resultant r and od will be od is equals to oa plus ad now if we apply pythagoras theorem so pythagoras theorem states that the ob square will be equal to od square plus bd square now od is equals to oa plus ad whole square plus bd square now if we take this triangle triangle b triangle a d b then this force is parallel to q force oc therefore this force will be q force 
and this angle would be theta. So, this A D will be equal to Q cos theta and B D will be equal to Q sin theta. So, substituting here, so in triangle this was the parallelogram which was constructed and uh, this was force P, this was force Q, this was force P, this was uh, B, A, O and C. We had dropped a perpendicular here, so this angle was theta and similarly this angle was theta. Now, we were having this equation k O B square was equal to O A square O A plus A D whole square plus B D square of which O A was equal to P A D is equals to Q sin theta Q cos theta as explained earlier and uh, B D is equals to Q sin theta. So, if we substitute here then we will get O A is equals to P plus A D is equals to Q cos theta whole square plus B D is equals to Q sin theta whole square. Now, if we expand so O B square is uh, O B is equals to resultant R. So, we will get R square is equals to on expanding this particular thing we will get P square plus 2 P Q cos theta plus q square cos square theta plus q square sin square theta q square cos square theta and q square sin square theta will be equal to q square. So, ultimately the equation would be r is equals to under root of p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos theta. Now, by using this equation we will get the magnitude of force resultant force. Now, for any force two things are very important, three things are very important. The first one is the magnitude, the second one is the direction and the third one is point of application. Now, as it is a coplanar concurrent force system, the point of application will be the point itself and the magnitude we are getting by this equation. Now, the thing which is remaining is angle. Now, let us say that resultant R makes an angle alpha with P force. So, now taking this particular triangle, triangle O D B, this force is R and this force is P, we can say that alpha tan alpha will be equal to opposite side by adjacent side. So, that would be equal to B D divided by O D. Now, O D is equals to O A plus A D. Now, again B D is equals to Q sin theta and O A is equals to P and A D is equals to Q cos theta. So, we can say that alpha will be equal to tan inverse Q sin theta upon P plus Q cos theta where alpha is the angle made by R with respect to P force. Now, so basically we are going to use two equations R is equals to under root of P square plus Q square plus 2 P Q cos theta and alpha that will be equal to tan inverse Q sin theta divided by P plus Q cos theta. Now, by using these two equations we will be solving some problems. Now, by using this equation we will get magnitude of R and by using this equation we will be getting the direction of the resultant. Now, let us take the first problem. Let us take first problem. It states that there are two forces of 80 kilonewton and 
60 kilo newton and angle between them is 60 degree now find resultant and its direction let us start with given data so let us consider this 80 kilo newton force as p force let us say p is equals to 80 kilo newton and q that is 60 kilo newton now if we diagrammatically show that these two forces are coplanar concurrent forces so this p force let us say this is p force and its value is 80 kilo newton and this is the other force q force its value is 60 kilo newton the angle between these two forces are is 60 degree now applying those two equations we can say that r now r is magnitude of the resultant produced by these two forces so that is given by the equation p square plus q square plus 2pq cos theta now theta is equals to 60 degree on substituting the values we will get p is equals to 80 square plus 60 square plus 2 into 80 into 60 into cos 60 on solving this we will get r is equals to 121.65 kilo newton similarly we have to find the angle made by the resultant with respect to any of these two forces now we have got the magnitude of this resultant still we have to find the direction so for direction we can say that alpha is the angle made by r with p so alpha will be equal to tan inverse q sin theta divided by p plus q cos theta on substituting the values we'll get alpha is equals to 25.28 degree with respect to P force that is 80 kilo newton force now let us move to the next problem next problem is determine the maximum and minimum resultant of two forces having magnitude 10 Newton and 8 Newton respectively. Now, we have to find the maximum and minimum resultant of two forces and the magnitude of each force is 10 Newton and 8 Newton respectively. Now let us assume that this force P is having magnitude of 10 Newton and the other force Q is having magnitude of 8 Newton. Now we are having an equation that is to give to find the magnitude that is R is equals to under root of P square plus Q square plus 2 PQ cos theta where p and q are the individual forces of the force system and theta is the angle between the two forces now if we say that p and q are constant then r is directly proportional to cos theta so for maximum resultant that is r max cos theta it implies that cos theta should also be maximum now cos the value of 
मैक्सिमम नाउ मैक्सिमम कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू वन फॉर दैट थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो नाउ इफ यू सब्सटीट्यूट हियर देन वील गेट एन इक्वेशन आर इज इक्वल्स टू अंडर रूट ऑफ पी स्क्वायर प्लस क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू पी क्यू कॉस जीरो दैट इज इक्वल टू वन सो दिस वुड बी इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ पी पी प्लस क्यू होल स्क्वायर सो आर विल बी इक्वल टू पी प्लस क्यू और सब्सटीट्यूटिंग पी एस टेन एंड क्यू एस एट विल गेट आर मैक्सिमम एस एटीन न्यूटन सिमिलरली वेन वी हैव टू फाइंड द मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ आर देन आर मिनिमम कैन ओनली हैपन वेन कॉस थीटा इज मिनिमम एंड कॉस थीटा इज मिनिमम एंड इट्स वैल्यू इज माइनस वन सो मिनिमम कॉस थीटा इज माइनस वन एंड इट हैपन्स वेन थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू वन एटी डिग्री सो इफ वी सब्सटीट्यूट थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू वन एटी डिग्री इन द सेम इक्वेशन दैट इज आर इज इक्वल्स टू अंडर रूट ऑफ पी स्क्वायर प्लस क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू पी क्यू कॉस थीटा कॉस थीटा दैट इज वन एटी डिग्री सो वील गेट एन इक्वेशन ऑफ अंडर रूट ऑफ पी स्क्वायर प्लस क्यू स्क्वायर माइनस टू पी क्यू एज कॉस वन एटी इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन सो द वैल्यू वुड बी आर वुड बी पी माइनस क्यू आर वुड बी मिनिमम इन दैट केस सो आर मिनिमम इज इक्वल्स टू पी माइनस क्यू लेटर सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यूज तो टेन माइनस एट सो द वैल्यू इज टू न्यूटन सो वी कैन डायग्रामेटिकली शो द थिंग्स एंड वी कैन इंटरप्रेट द थिंग्स दैट वेन द टू फोर्सेज आर एक्टिंग इन द सेम डिरेक्शन दैट इज टेन न्यूटन एंड एट न्यूटन एंड द एंगल बिटवीन दीज टू फोर्सेज इज थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो द रिजल्टेंट वुड बी एडिशन ऑफ बोथ द थिंग्स एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू एटीन न्यूटन सिमिलरली वेन दीज टू फोर्सेज द एंगल बिटवीन दीज टू फोर्सेज